This is a piece of my work called Spring is Just Round the Corner and it's based on a local field. And it's actually featured in our gallery in one of our books called Just One More Thing. But I wanted to talk about it because several people ask us, how do we go about doing this work? And I thought I'd show you some of the processes. And it starts off with a sketchbook and I've got sketchbooks for years of this place, different times of the year, morning, evening, sunlight, rain, and I keep finding new things to do. And uh, this is one of them. We start off with sketchbooks, and so some of the fields are, are filled with uh, rape seed oil and flowers, and uh, they're really very, very colourful. And then, because when they die, they, they leave lots of stalks, and this is the actual field where one of the years it was the aftermath of this, uh, the rape field uh, flowers. And so uh, I kept looking at different type, types of it. I loved all those. I could do quite a lot of work based on that and so on and, and played around with textures. Um, and then, of course, the hedgerows, and particularly in spring, I love the, the whack. You can see the structure of the hedgerow before the leaves come. And this was the start of the, the this piece that I've just shown you called Spring is Just Around the Corner. And I love this sort of funny grey colour. In actual fact, when I look closely at it, it's actually the leaves of the next crop of the raped seed oil flowers. And they're very, very small. And in this case, they have this bluey grey look. And I was beginning to look at the hedgerow with all the, sh all the pink or rather red um, shoots of the new life. And I'm always fascinated by hedgerows and things and so on. And, and then I try and do quite a proper drawing so that I can really see the structure, even if I'm going to sort of play around with it afterwards. I can talk about this piece here. Um, I did these, this area in a lot of straight stitches and I was using these really thick knitting walls. A lot of people are quite surprised that we use such a range of knitting walls and yarns. And uh, I was using a fabric, and this is a lovely fabric we use called 1447 um, uh, from Whaley's in, in the UK. And it's a lovely, it's not an even weave uh, fabric, but it's very, very good because you can have great big thick threads. We do use a really big chenille 14 to do that. Um, and then, but also it does fine, it holds fine stitching as well. It's very, and it dyes, prints beautifully. So we use that a lot. So having done various blocks of straight stitches. I then machined into it because I didn't want it to, I wanted to make a texture. I didn't want you to be aware of stitches, just the texture. So I machined using a, a llama thread, which is a, a wool machine thread. And then afterwards I used the embellishing machine to knock it back even further to blend it, particularly at the back of this to make it further away. And I made it slightly different color as well. And then coming through to uh, the hedgerow, they're mostly they are walls of different sorts, sometimes uh, what I call traditional embroidery threads, sometimes they knitting yarns, as I said. And because I wanted to make a, a little bit of a feature of the spring shoots, the red, I used a, a linen thread, which really just gave it, it wasn't a shine, but it really gives, it gives it a bit of spark. It's a smooth thread and contrasted against the wall. And the rest of the time it's knitting tapes. Really, I use any color and any thread I can if it's the right thing for the work.